What is it that stuff we're doing here again? Your clients are diamonds. And the process of coaching is bringing them back to their truth. NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, what is that? Essentially, it's a field of study that explores how we do what we do inside our minds and how what we do inside our minds determines our experience of life of what's going on out there and so the field of NLP essentially provides people with our discoveries over several decades about how people can become more in control over what they're doing inside so that they can achieve the results that they want in life. So your videos are about how to coach people is coaching the same than NLP? Coaching is not the same as NLP, although the field of NLP lends itself very, very well to the coaching profession. Because intrinsic in NLP is understanding what goes on inside people and facilitating change at the unconscious levels. So that we can go through life in the situations perhaps where we've had problems before now just as automatically as our reactions once were, new behaviors, new thoughts, feelings, and responses to those formerly difficult situations are now just as automatic as the old unconscious impulses that drove the old unwanted feelings and behaviors. That's the value of facilitating change at the unconscious level because all our thoughts and feelings and behaviors are driven by these unconscious impulses. So because NLP facilitates change at that level of consciousness and does so conversationally, it lends itself perfectly well to the coaching profession. And therefore many of the NLP techniques are now updated by coaches and brought into coaching conversations and interventions so that um, they're able to help their clients far more effectively than coaching has traditionally done. What differentiates your training from standard NLP training? Traditionally, NLP practitioner training, master practitioner trainings, and other complementary modalities that are part of the NLP curriculum get different types of emphasis based on the interests of the trainer. And my interest has long been working with people to make a difference, to help them in their own healing endeavors and to become empowered and to perform at the levels that they'd like to be performing at and to overcome the obstacles that have prevented them from being and having what they want in their life. So that interest then is of course a match for coaching and therefore my interest has gone in the direction of focusing on coaching throughout our NLP certification trainings and therefore the the way in which I teach NLP techniques has always been oriented toward how one would facilitate that as a coach. And that needn't be professional coaching, that could just as well be self-coaching exercises so that one can enable oneself to deal with the challenges of life as they arise. The videos do also provide a lot more than what one would get perhaps just the first time watching, which is why we encourage people to watch them a few times over and answer the review questions below each video to gain a more enriched understanding of what's really going on there. Because at the course where those videos are filmed, I'm, I'm teaching on multiple levels so that there are different meanings one can take from the teaching. And very often when one watches the video a second or third or fourth time, suddenly something else clicks and registers and the person gets a learning that they didn't get before from watching the same video. So there's a lot going on. And with that all said, the videos do not include everything that we cover at the trainings. There are certain aspects that are important for one to, to learn the basics of NLP. 
But at the live training, there's a far more dynamic, energetic, experiential aspect that comes out, and especially in the discussions and uh, what goes on when the video is not rolling, which of course we reserve for the live trainings. So in terms of the personal experience, the real true enrichment that comes from NLP training, I'm afraid that's only going to be available at the live courses. The NLP training videos are going to be just as useful to the person that wants to use them for personal development reasons only, as well as they will be to somebody who wants to go out there and coach others. And the participants on the courses where these videos have been filmed are the full assortment of people who come for their own self-healing as well as those that come to learn it to work with others. And interestingly, I've noticed over the years that come the end of the course, everybody wants to go out and make a difference because they've learned profound skills and by the end of the live training, they know exactly how to apply those skills effectively and ethically so that they're able to go out and, and make a difference. And sure, to become a qualified coach, I believe one will require some more practice than what one gets just through the training. So we always encourage our participants to go on and get the practice. And while they're integrating their learnings post-course, we're providing ongoing support and supervision until they feel ready to go out there and start doing the work. I have focused over the years on demystifying concepts in NLP that seem a little bit exotic, perhaps, in terms of psychological processes, or difficult to comprehend. I like to make complex processes easy for people to learn. And there seems to be a lot of controversy about NLP out there, about the programming and neuro-linguistic programming. Can it be used to manipulate people? I think people should be a little bit suspicious about some of the claims being made by NLP people out there. NLP is like a tool. You can do good with it and you can do damage with it. And people who truly understand and appreciate the presuppositions of NLP, who have embodied these core principles of NLP, are only ever going to use it to help people. And the people who try to do harm with it, they're easy to identify. People who are trying to manipulate you you don't get a good feeling in their presence. Mm. You know, they might say strange things and sound awfully convincing. And I would suggest to anybody who's considering to do NLP training, you know, how is it to be in the presence of the NLP person that you might like to learn from? Do they give you a good feeling? Are they true to their word? Do they walk their talk? And what has inspired me over the years is a development within the field of NLP that began to emerge in the USA in the early 90s called Humanistic Neuro-Linguistic Psychology, HNLP, a branch of NLP that got co-developed by John Overdorf and Julie Silverthorne, master trainers of NLP. HNLP, although it brings with it its own set of techniques, is much more than the techniques the H stands for humanistic primarily. It also stands for heart. It also stands for holistic. It stands for the stuff between the techniques. And it stands for the stuff between people. It stands for the connection between each one of us and between us and everything else that lives, that is alive. And when one becomes more vividly aware of that interconnectivity between all human beings and everything in nature on a real actualized level, not just as a pretty idea on an intellectual level, then everything changes. And suddenly the techniques aren't even you know, that compelling anymore. They're there if you need them, but you don't rely on them as somebody might who has attended a classic traditional NLP practitioner training. It's all about the techniques, techniques, techniques. You get given all these great techniques and you leave there a technique junkie. You've got this fantastic toolbox of skills and you just can't wait to use them and you run around trying to fix everything, things that aren't even broken. And over the years, HNLP has evolved into the core coaching modality that we teach at our courses these days. And we pride ourselves in being able to share 
the HNLP coaching approach with people being a conversational coaching technique that facilitates change at the unconscious level. So it's profoundly powerful. It is both remedial and generative, healing in the past and empowering people in the future and helping people to stay fully present and live a purposeful life. Javon, you've been providing NLP training since 2004. You've now come up with that training video series online. Aren't you putting yourself out of business? You've chosen to make them available for free. How come? It's part of my calling in life to, to make a difference. I believe we all have a similar kind of calling. It's a way for me to get a message out there that I know is going to be useful to people, providing them with skills and techniques to enjoy a more fulfilling life. And if it has just that effect alone, that's wonderful. And at the same time, I'd like to encourage people that NLP is, you know, compared to perhaps dancing or martial arts, something you need to practice and something you need to get supervision for so that as you're practicing it, the trained facilitator can give you on the spot feedback so that you can adapt what you're doing there and really get the important learnings through your own practice, which you won't get from any video, you won't get from any book. Because if you've ever tried to learn ballet from a book, you'd realize that you might fall over your own feet. And if you've ever tried to learn martial arts through watching videos, yes, you might be able to repeat what you see the person doing on the screen, but you know, should it come to a situation where you need to fight for your life, you probably will be glad if you've got some real life practice with supervision behind you. And the same applies to NLP and any form of psychological training that one might go through. The live training is important and especially plenty of supervised practice as part of that live training. I say that because I know of other people providing live training and it's still purely theoretic with very little practice and therefore we really do like to make sure people get various perspectives through a variety of practice sessions that are facilitated for every NLP process and technique throughout the course. So what made you come up with the uh, NLP facilitator training? What are your personal reasons to create that program? I suppose my main motivation in putting out a distance learning program for those interested in NLP is because although I do provide live trainings around the world, there are still so many people who can't take time out, can't afford the travel and the expense of a live NLP training and still want to learn it. Mm. And it therefore occurred to me, you know, we've got the internet. Get it out there. Put it in people's hands. And this is the way in which I have thought is going to facilitate that process. NLP Facilitator Training is a distance learning program. And it enables people to learn at their own time, at their own pace, in their own place. And of course, that comes at a far cheaper price than traveling to do an accredited live NLP training somewhere. Who is this training mainly for? It's for people who want to get NLP training, comprehensive, thorough training that gets plenty personal attention, but by distance. And that will be people who want to go out and make a difference in other people's lives while being more empowered themselves and having a better know-how about how they work on the inside so that they can get better results out there in their life. Release. Full speed. Yeah. Keep moving. Think about what you've done here. <laughs>